Hey, Andrew. Good to see you, man. Um, what do you say to maybe some of the, the younger guys about this rivalry series? I mean, I know, you know, Mark doesn't like to make one series, you know, bigger than the rest of them, but it's got to feel a little bit different for you guys, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, we're lucky to have some uh, a bunch of younger guys who, who you know, are homegrown from from this area, from South Carolina, grew up Gamecock fans. And and so, you know, those guys, those guys really understand it and appreciate it. But for the guys, maybe from here kind of like me my first year you know it's it's it you, you don't really get the feel for it until you play in it and you experience the crowds and and the atmosphere of uh of you know founders park and and playing up there also uh you know it's just it's something that they know is a big deal and means a lot to to the school and the fan base and the community but no i, I don't think they get the the they'll truly get to appreciate it until, until they play in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Andrew, there's uh, obviously some uh, tough news going around about the pitching staff right now. O offensively, do y'all try to take a little bit more burden on, on your shoulders? Do y'all speak about that to yourselves or do you just realize that what, what y'all have to do? Yeah. I mean, we just, we, we know, and, and, uh, you know, we've we realized that, uh, you know, we have to keep improving every single day. And, you know, we've, so far we've done a pretty good job of, of you know, putting runs up on the board, but there's always improvement to be made. Um, you know, we got to continue to do a better job at uh, not leaving guys on base and 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 do a better job at situational hitting. And, and that's something that I think has been improving and then that you're going to see the keep improving. But, yeah, I mean, it's 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 difficult with uh with some guys going down, but, um, you know, we're, we're confident as an offense that, that we can get the job done. Colin. Andrew, what have you learned about this offense through the first eight games, especially with this new crop of hitters you guys have? Yeah, it's, we've got, we've got a lot of guys that, that can contribute, you know, that's, you know, plain and simple is, is there's been, there's been a handful of guys that have come in and, and done something, you know, whether it's, you know, coming through on a pinch hit or, or just, you know, some guys getting, getting starts that normally wouldn't uh, start every day. And, and it, it's, it's, you gotta have, you gotta be able to rely on guys that, that don't get to play every day. And, you know, we're lucky enough to have, to have a bunch of guys that uh, that'll step up and get a job done when they're, when their name's called. Andrew, is it a little different knowing that this is like for for sure your final Clemson series? How do you kind of approach that mentally, and and, and are there going to be any added emotions for you um, going into it? Yeah, I, de I definitely think there will be. You know, it's it's it, like like I've said about everything. You know, this being my last year, it's going to be bittersweet. Um, you know, it, it's it's a series that, that I know so many people look forward to, and so many people uh are invested in and you know i've been lucky enough to to be part of that every single year and to and to really love and appreciate the rivalry and for it to be my last time being a part of it yeah yeah it's it's you know it means it definitely means a little more but at the same time i just gotta go in and, and do what i do what i've done every single every single year and just have fun and and compete and and uh you know good things will happen Yeah, so 17 RBIs is obviously a lot through this stage of the season. Did you set any kind of goals uh, along those lines? Uh, hit totals, RBI totals, batting average, home runs, any, anything like that coming into the year? I mean, numbers-wise, not really. Uh, you know, my main goal this year was just to be the guy to, to drive and runs, and, you know, I've been able to do that so far. But, you know, be, being the veteran, the most veteran guy on, on the offense, at least – that's for here. We've got Brand and Kevin who are both older than me, but, um, but, you know, being the, the, the veteran game guy, you know, that's, that's my job is, is to drive and runs. And, and that's, I feel like that's my main role, uh, my main role this year. Um, but, uh, you know, no, no, no numerical goals. I, I just, you know, I wanted to improve on, on past years and especially last year, just, um, play a little better, do a little better than, than, than what I have been and just, uh, you know, drive as, driving as many runs as I can.
Better beard, you or Brant? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to give that one to Brant. This is getting a little long. His his like his naturally just looks nice and sleek, but this thing's starting to stick out a little bit. I might gotta shave it here soon. I might let it ride this weekend and then then uh, trim it up a little bit. Fu Manchu, <laughs> maybe it is Mustache March. It is Mustache March, and we, we we may improvise on that a little, little bit and do something a little different. We'll see. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, guys.